Sarah Bobby is coming to you from Tiger Muay Thai in Thailand. Um, here with Michael Katsunis. Um, Michael, why did you come to Phuket? Uh, well, I was fighting and living in America, of course, and um, I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted, and I thought to myself, well, I'm going to punish myself and I'm going to come to Thailand. And then I fell into um, one of the best training camps I've been into here at Tiger Muay Thai. And um, I've really got the results that I was looking for, and I'm happy and now ready to go into my next fight. Okay, so basically, obviously, you've enjoyed it here. Why would that? What was the main reason? Um, I, I just think, look, it's been there's been great people around here. There's a great atmosphere, and um, I've had plenty of good sparring. And thanks to all the trainers here at Tiger Muay Thai, um, I've had a very large variety of different styles to work with, and that, and it's very enjoyable. People come here to actually work and have a good time at the same time, so you can sort of call it like serious fun. Have you done anything else while you've actually been here? Um, I've got my diving certificate, so... Oh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it was like it was a really good time, And uh, but look, it's just been like full on work at this point, and, um, but I've really enjoyed it, and uh, you know, it's, it's the best place for me to be at this stage of my career. Where do you normally train for clients? Well, I've been based in America for the last two years, and um, we move around a lot of gyms in LA, and um, this one here has been good for me because it's, it's a bit of a change, and it's a healthy lifestyle. And so um, this has seemed to be like a pattern for where I'm going to be for my next upcoming fights. Had you heard about it previously, or what made you actually decide to come down? Yeah, look, I was here on a, a holiday, and um, the Tiger Muay Thai was a talk. This is the best training camp to go to, so I just came out here with a few friends, and I caught up with Will here, and um, it sort of just fell on my lap, really. Will you be coming back? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely coming back. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to come back with my brother and some friends, um, just for a bit of a break and a holiday. This is a great place for fitness. Um, if you want to be competitive, it's a great place to be competitive and train as well because everyone has the same goal and that's to uh, do well and become healthy. There's um, a fight between you and Manny Pacquiao is being mentioned. Is it a possibility that you would actually like to be fighting him? Well, that's why one of the reasons we're going into Manny's backyard um, is because the Philippines are such passionate fighters. Uh, Manny now being one of the pound for pound best in the world, well he is the pound for pound best in the world, just beating Oscar de la Hoya. Going into the Philippines is, is a great opportunity for me to display to the rest of the world. And um, and if a fight between me and Manny happens, that'd be great. It's been talked about for a long time, so we'll just see what happens. But this fight that I have next coming up against Angel Hugo Ramirez is for world contention for the world title. So um, you know, we'll look at that one first, and then many after. Okay. Um, you're coming out of two tough um, losses to top fighters Casamayo and Juan Diaz. How important is the fight in the Philippines? Well, those last two fights that I had, I know that I've always been better than those guys and this is part of the reason why I've came to come to train here at Tiger Muay Thai is to get the results that I wanted, get that hunger back and with my training now I feel that I'm back to that stage and where I want to be. So, um, you know, this next guy, Andrew Hugo Ramirez, um, I'll deal with him and um, I feel very confident. And um, the main reason to fight this guy is to get back at those guys and avenge those losses, which I think I can do with these. Excellent. Um, you fought Tiger Muay Thai Pate in a uh, boxing match in 2005 while in Australia. And you also had a chance to work with some of the other sparring um, trainers down here. Um, do you think carrying at Tiger Muay Thai and having a variety of body diseases to basically spar with has helped you prepare for your fights? Yeah, immensely. Because the guy that I'm fighting in Angel Hugo Ramirez, he's a very energetic and keeps coming all night, but he also comes to you with very different styles. So me with uh, sparring with all the trainers here has been excellent for me because they could also come to you with something different every single time. But, uh, and especially in Protet, um, yes, I fought Protet three years ago and he fought uh, one of Australia's best fighters in Love More Do and lost a very close points decision to him, which I believe he won. Um, and he's a very experienced boxer and very good to work with and I'm very lucky to have landed in the same camp as Protet and I thank him very much for the help that Protet's given me in preparing for this next fight. Um, what is it about Thailand that makes training, what makes it so easy to train, focus on it? Um, I just think it's the weather and the attitude from the people here. Everyone comes here with the same goal and, and it's just it's a very cleansing and very whole feeling experience. So 
Um, look, I, I never imagined that it would be this good. I actually come here as a bit of a punishment thing that I wanted to get the best out of my boxing. I wanted to get the results and I've really enjoyed getting to where I want to go. And, um, you know, we'll just see the result in the next fight and then I think that'll prove, you know, this is a good place to be. What are your thoughts on MMA and UFC and is it something you're actually be going into in the future? Well, look, I, I find it um, a job in itself, just mastering the hands alone and then the feet and the elbows and everything. So, like, I take, really take my hat off and give these guys credit for being able to mix it all up. And um, my part's just the boxing, and uh, if I can help assist with anything like that, well, I'm happy to do that. And hopefully the guys working a bit with me can benefit from my boxing work and use it in the MMA. Obviously, you're a fan of boxing. Yeah. Um, who would be your favourite fighter and why? Um, look, I, I, I don't specify on anyone in particular. I like little bits of some people and I take bits and pieces out, so I don't really have a, a favourite fighter. I just I just sort of take bits and pieces from every other fighter. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, what does a typical fight day look like for you? And are there any pre-fight rituals? Um, no, not, not really as such. Look, I'm a sort of guy who takes everything as it goes and play everything by ear. Each fight is different and each fighter is very different and an individual in themselves. So I have no pre-fight rituals. The main thing is to keep my focus and do the job at hand. Um, and to end off, obviously you're one of the top fighters in your weight class. Do you still get nervous before the fight? Um, I think nerve factors are very important for every fight. Um, I, I, got, I get nervous and then I get those nerves and I turn them into a positive and then I find that my reaction timing is a lot faster, I have more adrenaline, more energy, and I think it's a very important part. If you don't get nervous, you don't feel anything, you're not really in it. You know, you've got to feel it to be in it. Thank you very much, Michael. Good luck in 2009, and we should hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tiger Mutai.